In our previous video, we looked at the first in first out method of stock valuation, where we saw that the first set of units in stock are all sold out before we go to the second or the newer set of stock items. All right. In this method, we would look at selling the new set of items first. For instance, if I bought goods on Monday and then I bought on Tuesday, I'm talking about the same set of goods, same kind of goods. I would sell out all those bought on Tuesday first before going and touch those that I bought on Monday. All right. In addition to that, it is important that I point out something that this question in particular do not does not cover. All right. That is an opening balance. Whenever there is an opening balance of goods on opening stock, you would put in the date or the month and you would not have anything to write in for purchase or for sale, but rather you'd start by putting in a balance here under the balance column. For example, if we had, let's say, 12 units at $25 stock on hand at the start of the, the month or the year, that's what we're going to put in together with the total. So we'd have to factor that in when we perform in all the other transactions on the lease. Okay, we'd have to, if we're using the first in first out method, we'd have to start selling these items first. If it's a last in first out method, well, depending on where this fall, we would touch it. All right, let's continue. This question starts with 80 units at $25 in January all right again some questions may not have different months it might just have different days within a month so immediately we would put that 80 units at $25 in the balance column because that's all the units we have on hand next in February we sold 65 units at $30 all right the selling price is 30 so let's find out the cost price at which we'd sell those goods. Now it's 65 units. The only amount of goods we have on hand would be 80 units. So we have to sell from that. That is the first set of goods we have. That's the last set of goods that we have. It's only one. One set of units. So we're going to take the 65 from the 80. The balance remaining would be 15 at 25. Remember, it's always at the cost price we're using the balance. We're representing the balance in April we bought a, an additional 100 units at 1850 so now our balance would consist of our previous balance of 15 units at 25 and a new set of items we acquired which is the 100 at 1850 in August we bought more items 130 units at $50 so our balance would consist of 15 at 25 which is also here and the 100 at 1850 which we can see here we carry down the two balances and underneath that we'd write or represent the newest acquisition of 130 at 50 dollars that gives us a total of 8725 things are about to get pretty interesting September, we're selling eight units at $52, all right? That's the, the $52 represent the selling price. But remember, we're using the last in first out method. So question, which of these units represent the newest set of items acquired? Now, if you look at the date, you would see just before September, we acquired 130 units. We didn't have anything else after that. So that's what we're going to start selling from. So we're going to take 80 units from here. So that's why we have here 80 at 50. Okay. 
so it means definitely these items here the first set we had the second set remain untouched we still have back the 15 and 25 we still have back the 100 at 1850 but instead of 130 we now have 50 units at 50 having sold 80 of, of the, those units so our balance at this point in st of stock would be four thousand seven hundred and twenty five dollars in December we're selling a hundred and fifty units at sixty five dollars now this means we have to get a hundred and fifty units to sell starting from the newest set of goods we had on hand now as we can see in our balance we had 50 units left no I don't know about you but to me 150 is more than 50 so definitely we cannot get a whole 150 here but what we can do we can sell out all of these units here 50 all right so that's what we're going to do we're going to sell the 50 units meaning now we would need to get an additional 100 we take that 100 from the next set of items or the second newest set of items in the balance which would be the 100 at 1850 which would mean we're selling at 50 plus 100 that's the 150 and we'd be left with 15 at 25 that's the balance we have so our closing stock using the LIFO method would have a value of $375 all right thank you for viewing